What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing you a midweek video. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Yo, your boy D just dropped his kids off with the mom heading up to Finley, Ohio. I'm here in Dayton, Ohio. Have to stop in and say hello to Mr. John Gerber of Gerber's Tropical Fish. I'm excited to show you guys what he's got going on to. Redid his whole freshwater room. Got two videos coming from you on it. Here we go. Mr. John Gerber's in the mix. What's going on, dude? How are you? Cool. Great to have, great to be in here again, man. So you told me you got a lot going on with your uh, your freshwater room. I want to just get the people in here right, and show them what you got going on. I walked in, I saw black, uh, what are the, the black glass tanks. Dude, last time I was in here, man, your fish room was like low to the ground on wooden stands. You put a little money in here, man. What's going on? What are you up to? Well, we wanted to get the tanks off the ground so they'd be at customer's eye level. So we got them on concrete blocks that brings them up. And then we put a whole new filtering system in and uh, we're able to carry uh, twice the varieties and twice the volume that we used to. So you doubled the size of your freshwater room? Yeah, we doubled the capacity because of the filtration system. We oh, I gotcha. Awesome, man. Well, let's take a look around. Obviously, we got some sweet peacocks in here. Yeah, we just got a shipment in of some peacocks. That's fat. We got the peacocks, we got some labs. You were telling me some crazy story about back in the day you had uh, the clown loaches that they got. Where were you getting them from? You getting oh, we used to go to Indonesia and I went to a, a farm in Indonesia and they literally, they had clown loaches that were the size of footballs. It was wow, dude. They were trying to breed them. That's awesome. Did they ever end up breeding them? Yeah, they are starting to breed them in Blue captivity face, cool. What else we got here? These are just some young electric blue hats that haven't colored yet. Nice. And they got fish. Lots of glowfish. Make the daughters tank happy. Yep. Little kids love them. You sell those, yeah. huh? Yeah. No kidding. We got the Mabunas, nice. larger ones. We got a lot of small ones over here. That's awesome. And then up in here, we got some oh. albino, have some presses steps. We also got some cyclosoma. Let me get them closer here on these. Oh, those are tight, man. We got a black belt, cyclosoma maculata. What's this next to it here? That's a green seven with just some beautiful colors. Yeah, he's nice got pattern. cool colors, man. I saw those in Peru. They didn't look anything like that. He's got a cool coloration on them. What else we got down this way, man? Yeah, dude, the new the new freshwater looks awesome, dude. I'm real pumped for you. We just got in some uh, cherry, the pearl cherry flower horns. Wow, them. they look happy. Just got here. They'll even color up way more. They've just been here for one day. Yeah. But they got, the red's going to be pretty intense, and they got... Great heads already developed for how young they are. Nice. Oh, he's got a little 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 guppy action, a little planet tank action too. Those guppies are hot, man. Whoa. They're from Sri Lanka. Yeah, where'd you get that angelfish? That guy's no it's joke. A, that's just a local. Really? Yeah. Dude, that's a good looking sclera though. All the full uh, the full stripes on that. Wow. That's a good looking fish. Geo, what kind of geophagus is that? Um, these are the ultras, got them in. They were actually raised, they're, they're, they're wild caught, but they're raised in a Florida farm. I gotcha. Grow outs. And then down here, down here we got just some uh, tetras, some new potted plants. We're trying to put them in mud and do a little bit of research with the mud and see if we can get more success in the potted plants. Nice. Loving the blood fins. Where are those rummy nose I saw a second ago? Oh, are they over, over, here? over here? Yeah, I'm loving that you got a whole nice supply of rummy nose, man. These are very nice size rummy nose. Oh, nice. Yeah, those are awesome. Wow, you got a lot of them in here. And for those of you who don't know, rummy nose are your low schooler. Like, they stay real low, so those are pretty hot. And then your cardinals. Yeah, your cardinals are no joke either. I want to show these angels, too. No, that's going to come out in the camera, but yeah, that looks pretty good. And then what do you got up top here? Some angler guppies. You got in some electric blue caros. Nice. Another geo. Oh, a piss dog. We've got a trio of epistogramas in there. They're nice. Dude, that epistog is awesome, man. You know what kind that is? Cockatoidy of uh, some kind? Flame? Yeah, it came in as a flame. Yeah, all right. Another couple of nice angels. That's a spawning pair. Yeah. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll get, we'll grow out some angels and we'll get them to spawn and then we'll sell them to people who want to start breeding. We have some breeding pairs of discus that we have for sale too. Yeah, let's go check those discus okay. out. I got a lot of discus people on my channel. Yo, these are no joke right here. These are an albino red up in the top there. First nice. time I've had those in here. Dude, those are hot. 
Yeah, and you wow. know, they, just to be fair, they just came in. Uh, they haven't even been here for 24 hours, so I think once I get them stabilized, the color is going to be even more magnificent than it already is. Well, dude, like, people can get discus all over online and everything, so like, you know, why should someone come in here and, and, and buy a fish like that from you? Well, the thing is, here, we literally feed these fish five to six times a day. We have five, six different foods we feed them, and we really get them well conditioned and acclimated to the tank so that when people get them home, they're gonna have a lot better a lot better fish than a fish that's just at a, at a facility that's not really being taken care of and fed six times a day. Yeah, and dude, I mean, actually, they're, they're, they're fed so well here that a lot of them will end up pairing off and then we end up with breeding pairs. Right. These two here are pairs that came in. They didn't come in as breeding pairs, they just came in. And because they were here for three, four months and conditioned well, so fed, well, nice, yeah, dude. they started spawning. Yeah. And we actually have had fry on both of these. That's fat. And just to show you guys, like this is a no joke setup. This isn't like some random thing. Like you got, what's the six, we talked about this a second ago. What's, I mean, what's the gallons here? Like you uh, got. This is, a, we have mini systems and big systems. Right. right here is a 400 gallon mini discus system, 450, 500 gallon system. But we also have it hooked up. We do water changes daily with RODI no water. Cooling. Yeah. Wow. We do a small water change every day. No kidding. So the fish can come in, they could be beat up, you power feed them, then they're money because you're getting a fish that's well fed and also well filtered. You don't have that big ammonia Absolutely. spike. The problem is most people get an undernourished fish, a store, and they can't, they don't have a filtration system big enough to really power feed them to turn them around. Dude, these fish are awesome, man. These discus look hot, dude. Looking real good, dude. You know, I've never done a discus tank. I've always talked. I've always thought about it. I just never popped one out. These are hot. You know, man. when we started, wow. when we started keeping them in RODI water, we just the, the amount of success just tripled. really. Yeah. Is that so? That's the advice right. you say to people with discus. Yeah. You keep them in RO. Yeah. What percentage RO? All RO. Or? Yeah. RODI. Really? RODI means it's less than five parts per million of gunks in the water. And if you look, just look here. This is Dayton, Ohio tap water. Okay. okay. And if you look at it, there's probably, most cities, the water's about 425 parts per million of gunk in their water. We have guys that work here and clean these tanks weekly. You can see all the calcium, the lime deposits. There's all kinds of brown algae. Then you look at this tank. It's, it's not cleaned anymore. It's right. cleaned the same amount. Look how much less work we have. And look how, how clear the tanks and the glass look. So what parts per million is the district water? It's real it's less than five parts per million. Wow. We get it down to less than five parts. No fooling. Man, you got some nice little small angels in here. These are some Loving of the red that. koi. They're young, but they're starting to show a lot of red for their got young Got some age. Amania gracialis for my planet tank people back here. Got some yep. gold Ship, Anubias. Ship that in just for Dustin. That's right. Got some Singapore. gold Anubias available on DustinsFishTanks.com from my man John. Buy, getting me some good stuff. Loving it. And then uh, what else we got going on? You got some nice little Bichardis in here. Some lamp compressor saps. Oh, whoa. I didn't see that. <laughs> That's a hot little fish. Nice. Got some frogs. I saw, oh, what are these loaches, man? Are these yo-yos or boatillas? Oh, no, these are the, uh, those are the Angelicus boatillas. That's the Angelicus? Four, yeah, there's about four or five different types. I've got some of the, uh, cause it's, yeah. Look like, they look like yo-yos to me, but... Robusta Botia oh, okay. here. A lot of them similar, but the, when they get a little older, then you'll see the distinct difference in their pattern. All right. You had a, when the Lochadas and the Angelicus are at a small size, they're similar. Gotcha. What are that little? Headstanders. Nice. Those are hot. <laughs> yeah, I love the filtration here, dude. I love the way you got it segmented off and everything. That's really cool. Oh, fronts. Nice. Well, we do a big business on uh, African cichlids. Do you? Yeah. Is it the Ohio cichlid belt, as they call it? Yeah, or is... I think it's because the high pH, the hard water around this area just makes for breeding cichlids pretty Dude, these, easy. These are buy one, get one electric yeah. blue jack Dempsey. Yeah, we, we like to do a lot of buy one, get one freeze around here. So we did this week, we got the electric blue jack Dempsey's. Nice, dude. Small red cap Arondas. Those are cool. What else we got in there? Little yellows. And then one thing too, Dustin, there's a lot of fish that obviously we can't see in this video. Yeah. You know, we have captive bred Synodonis decorus what? little guys. They're what? hanging out in the tubes here. I'd have to get a net. Oh, I got They're in you. the tubes. 
you know, there's. Captain Brown. I think the biggest thing is when a lot of people come in here, when they buy online, you know, they can just click and go from picture to picture, and they see a cool fish. There's hundreds of fish in here that people don't even realize we have here because there's just we put them, you know, PVC pipes in the right. tanks to keep them calm. I mean, here's a perfect example. We got a tigrensis. Dude, that's you got a, a small tigrensis yeah. in here? Eating, Dude, uh, that's a fat fish, man. Eating bloodworms, krill, and doing really well. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to eat. Look wow. at the thread on his tail. Dude, I saw those live in Peru. That's yeah. a tigrensis. Like that thing is awesome, man. Yeah, it's getting monster, but still. If what else you got in here, here man? Like, you know, we'll have fire eels. What? Some large Dude, if my boy Brian knew you had fire eels. Oh, that big old loach. Those big loaches are money, too. Wow, those are cool. Dude, what are these? What's up with these puffers, man? We just got those in. These are pretty rare. Not rare, but you don't see them that often. Do they need glass? Oh, yeah. Glass fish? Do, they, do these pup? These don't need any salt, then. Those are the pure... Um, no, no, no. You can put them in salt. And you can put them in fresh. The biggest misconception on the on the figure eight puffer, the, uh, the puffer is... The problem is with most people when they have them is they don't feed them enough. Ah. And then they go around and they pick on the fins of the other fish. These little puffers can almost eat their body weight daily. We'll give them, each puffer here can eat a whole piece of krill the size of themselves. Really? Almost. Yeah. No fooling. I didn't know so they were that big of eaters. Well fed, they don't chase around the other fish in the tank. Nice. Cool looking rainbows. And we have a lot of placostomus in here. One of the things about my placostomus is a lot of stores will sell like a two inch placostomus, but I've been doing this for over 27 years importing fish and you know when you take a placostomus out of the pond at two inches, they just don't do well. They're just too young. So what I like to do is I get them up to three inches where right. I know the, the customer's not going to have any problems at all with them. So you pay $9.99 instead of $6.99, right. but you're not going to lose them. Well, so I always try to get size, I try to bring in fish to the size where I know my customer is not going to have a problem. Right. You've been doing this 27 years, huh? In this warehouse, I've been 27 wow. years, and then for another 12 years, I worked what is, at pet stores. What is that old little, uh, Those are, uh what is that guy? Leopard tenopomus. Dude, that's From hot. Africa. Wow. Dude. This looks great, man. I don't remember seeing this many fish last time I was in here. You can click the link uh, below to check out the old video. It's come a long way. Oh, was that a little archer fish, dude? Yeah. Get out of I'll here. I'll show you some big archers on the other you side. You got some big archers? Oh, we got some that are four inches, five inches. Dude, I'm so pumped I stopped in here, man. All right, let's check it out. I know you, I know you keep some monsters, which I'm, su I'm surprised you do, but it makes sense. Take care of some red-tailed cats or people. You know what happens if you feel obligated in the sense that we sell people small fish and they outgrow their aquarium. So we always say we'll take it back and trade. And wow. And people bring stuff back when they outgrow their That's aquarium. That's awesome. And then we find people that have, you know, 500 gallon aquarium. They'll even have people who have small fish ponds in their wow. basement. Wow, look at these reds. Red tails. Ah! Oh my lord. Red tail catfish farm. That's crazy. All right, man. So what's the deal? You got to give my viewers a deal, dude. Why should they come in here, man? What's the deal? What are you going to give them a deal? Well, we could do something and do a buy one, get one free coupon for $15 on buy fish. One, buy one, that's the, the 50 bucks isn't going to get anybody in here. Come on, dude. Give them 20 bucks, man. Give them 20 right, bucks. We'll do, I'm going to do a, on your website, they go down and they can download a coupon for $19.99. Yeah. And buy a fish uh -huh. and get a free one of equal or lesser talking. value. And now we'll do we're a coupon for salt water and fresh water, so we'll have two oh, coupons. Nice, dude. You hear that, fish tank people? John Gerber hooking it up. Buy one, get one. $19.99 or less. That's that's pretty tight, man. Yeah, and you got a fat selection. I mean, you can't. I mean, you, where are you gonna go find an archer fish, dude? These fish are wicked, dude. Right the, the big, the oh whoa. Get out of here, man. Wow, dude, those look hot. Is that, is that how big they get? How big they get? Um, actually, I've been in Thailand and, and sitting at a restaurant and you watch them in the in the river swimming next to you and I've seen them 10, 12 inches. Really? Yeah. Oh, what's this stingray you got here? You got in a uh, black, yellow polka dye, the Lapolti stingray. Those are rare. Yeah, those are real hot. And then you showed me a stingray a second ago. Where yeah, was it? Oh, here we go. We, lo we raise them here. We got breeders we raise them? here. What? Yeah. I don't, these the are breeding for you? Yeah, we, we spawn them. They have live, they're live bear. They cool. have live pups. No offense, they spawn in there? Just, yeah. Just hanging out? Yeah. All right. We put a shower head and make it like it's raining and that triggers them. That's how you spawn? Yeah. Really? 
This guy got beat up by a customer's uh, other stingray, so we're healing him. He's all right. Right. Down here, we got in. This is captive bred, locally raised, and we sell on this. This is a marble Matoro. The marble Matoro has a whole lot more dots and pattern than a regular Matoro, as you can oh, tell. Oh yeah. And I, I mean, this this is young. It's this is a very young fish. As it gets older, it's going to just be incredible with all oh, the so dots. Oh, so it keeps that? It doesn't oh, go it's the other way? Get, no, it's going to get more. Wow. What's, what type is it again? That's a marble Matoro stingray. Dude, that's a tight fish, man. Captive bred. Cool. Dude, looking good, man. I'm I'm pumped to be up here, man. Oh, Checking it out. So you have about how many gallons of fresh? Oh, are those, are those, uh, those are the Bristol Shabunkas? Yeah. Dude. I'm getting one of those bad boys. That's a hot one too. They got the, the rounded fins and everything. That's like a, a textbook shabunking goldfish for all you goldfish junkies. Yeah, that guy's coming with D. Nice, man. We have about, I'd say, 15,000 gallons of salt water. We have about 10,000 gallons of fresh water. Nice. Look at the Some big again. lungfish here. Lungfish? Yep. Nice. All right, folks. Well, you heard it here. John Gerber's giving a buy one, get one. I got to do the work to hook a coupon up for you all. But thanks for having me. We're going to show the saltwater here in a little bit. But everybody making an awesome one and tank on. Later.